Hey everybody, this is Nate with Cody, and today I'm going to be showing off a cool new feature with Cody 18 um, and Android TV. Uh, you can actually check out this feature right now by visiting and downloading a nightly build, or you can just wait until Cody 18 is released. Uh, but the feature is uh, integration of Android TV's voice search and also Android TV's recommendation tiles. Um, now I've gone ahead and installed Cody 18, uh, a nightly build. Um, I've also set everything up so that we can see what it all looks like. And here we are on the Android TV home screen with recommendation tiles already available. Um, the way Cody decides which recommendation tiles to use is it, it picks randomly unwatched movies. Um, and it also picks recently watched TV shows with new episodes. Uh, and also random albums uh, if you have music in Cody. Uh, so for me, it picked randomly Furious 7, God Help the Girl, I've recently been watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a great show, um, and it's put them in the tiles here. If I click it, it'll open Cody and go straight to the info page for Furious 7. From there, I can hit play, a trailer, or I can check out what other movies, let's say Jason Statham's been in, uh, that happen to be in my Cody library. Um... So that's information tiles. They're pretty cool, but I think the even cooler thing that we can do now is we, we can actually do voice searches for things inside of Kodi. So, for example, uh, all you have to do from the Android TV is hit the voice search button on your remote control or controller. Die Hard. And now Android TV will search not just its regular places like Google Play, but it also search Kodi. And so if we click Cody, it'll pop up Die Hard. Um, we can also go back. Um, we don't just have to search for movies, titles, or anything like that. We can also search for actors or actresses. So let's say Natalie Portman. And here we have Natalie Portman, movies she's been in, stuff on YouTube, people she's related to, and of course, shows in Cody that she's in. Uh, I've got evidently three movies with Natalie Portman in them. Um, so that's all the cool stuff you can do from the Android TV homepage, but that's not all you can do with this new integration. If we actually go into Kodi, um, and let's go back to the home screen, we can actually do text input using voice search now. So let's say I wanted to watch Big Buck Bunny, but I didn't want to go find it. I could just click the search icon, search my local library, uh, and instead of typing in Big Buck Bunny, which takes forever... I just hit that voice search button again. Big Buck Bunny. And it enters it for me. And we click OK. And there it is. Big Buck Bunny in all of its glory. All right. Hit stop. Uh, and now to set this all up, it's very simple. All you have to do is first install Kodi 18. Um, once again, you can wait for the final release or you can just get a nightly build, however you want to do that. But from there, once you've installed it, you click this uh, this gear up at the top left corner. That's the settings gear. Uh, go down to services and then go to control and turn on allow remote control, allow remote control, and allow remote control. Once all that's turned on, uh, it's ready to go. Uh, if you happen to be a big user of Kodi, I'd suggest turning on pretty much everything in this area just because it's super useful. But that's up to you. Once that's turned on um, and your library is filled up and everything, it's all set to go. That's all you need to do, and you can go back into the Android home screen, and there are all of the episodes and shows and everything in Kodi already set up. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. This has been Nate from Kodi, and I uh, hope you enjoy Kodi 18.